The current recommendations for men and alcohol are at about four drinks per week. We used to think that men would be okay with alcohol, but we're learning more and more that it has direct consequences on cortisol, blood sugar, cardiometabolic health, and of course, testosterone as well. If the liver is the issue and your starting point, and let's talk about the liver for a second, many men have the genetics of poor hormone metabolism. So testosterone in essence has to be broken down. It's usually broken down into androgens, which again, Again, are responsible sometimes for some of the prostate issues and the cardiometabolic issues that we see with testosterone replacement, but it has to be broken down and then excreted, eliminated, either through the gut or through the kidneys. But to do that, the liver has to work well. Now let's go back to alcohol, right? If your liver has been burdened with a lot of environmental toxicity or alcohol or any of these things that make it harder for the liver to do its job, we come along and we give you a big dose of testosterone, it's going to go the wrong way. You're going to produce a lot of estrogen with minimal benefit and minimal improvement in your testosterone levels. 